Now, the trial of the police officer Derek Chauvin, accused of killing George Floyd, starts in the United States today. Mr Floyd's death was captured on video and sparked protests against racism across the world. Libo de Seco has more. A life memorialised by a community that cannot forget. The pain of what happened here almost a year ago is still visible. This is where George Floyd lay dying, a policeman kneeling on his neck for more than nine minutes as Mr Floyd repeatedly said, I can't breathe. Today, that former officer, Derek Chauvin, goes on trial for George Floyd's death. He's charged with two counts of murder and one count of manslaughter. At first, Minneapolis police said that Mr Floyd had been resisting arrest. But the video seemed to tell a different story. Chauvin was arrested. The images of George Floyd on the ground begging for his life ripped open America's unhealed wounds on race and how black Americans are policed. People took to the streets in cities across this country, sparking the biggest protest movement since the civil rights days. The events engulfed the White House and reverberated across the world, forcing a global reckoning on racism. No justice, no peace. The For people in Minneapolis, the start of the trial brings both hope and trepidation. This is not the first, you know, incidents of police brutality that has ever has never seen justice, so I'm optimistic, but also I don't want to get my hopes up too high. I want justice to be served, but I don't know for sure if that will happen. Um, and if it doesn't, I just fear the reactions and the kickback that might happen. We want justice! When do we want it? Now. This is the first time that a white police officer in this state will stand trial for the murder of a black person. Chauvin's lawyer will argue that this trial is not about race. But for many, it is about the value of a black life in America. Security across this city has been stepped up. Barricades and fencing surround the court. On the eve of the trial, a vigil with George Floyd's family. It shouldn't be two laws. It shouldn't be two justice systems. It shouldn't be one for white America. It shouldn't be one for black America. We are one. A moment to pause and reflect on what might lie ahead. Lebo Di Seco, BBC News, Minneapolis. Well, Alebo joins us now uh, from outside the courthouse in Minneapolis. Uh, thank you very much for being with us this morning. So give us a, a run through of exactly what we are expecting over the next few hours. Well, at 9 a.m. local time, we are expecting those opening arguments to begin, and that's when the lawyers from both sides will essentially set out their case. And for both of them, much of it, we expect, is going to centre around what the actual cause of George Floyd's death was. For the prosecution, they will be wanting to show that it was Derek Chauvin's action. So they will be showing lots of video uh, from the scene, much of it that we haven't seen before, and a lot of it we expect to be quite graphic, body cam footage and also bystander footage too. The defence will be trying to show that it was actually other factors that were at play, ill health on the part of George Floyd and possibly issues such as drug use. They'll also want to show that uh, Derek Chauvin was just following uh, procedure and standard training uh, for police here in this state. Now there is a huge amount of interest here. This is the first criminal trial that will be a, a live uh, broadcast here in this state and that is because the judge recognized the public interest and that because of COVID restrictions people are unable to uh, go to the court or view it in the way they might usually do. Labour, thank you very much for that and uh, that is a case that we'll be covering on breakfast for you over the course of the next few days.